guys, it's me and today I have an empties video for you. In my August favorites I asked you guys if this was something you'd want to see or if it sounded interesting to you and a lot of you guys responded positively saying yes you would and that it would be a worthwhile video for me to make. So I thought now that I have the time that I would sit down and share all of my empties with you. If you aren't familiar with videos like this, I've watched a ton of them over my lifespan of watching YouTube videos. I actually find them more helpful than favorites videos. Even though I love favorite videos, I love making them, I love watching them, but I find empties videos a little bit more helpful just because I think it's a more honest take on how you like feel about an actual product. If you sit there and you use an entire product, I feel like you can actually give an honest opinion on whether or not you like it. I know that sometimes with certain skincare products, I will like it in the beginning and then have Halfway through it'll start reacting weird with my skin or changing it somehow or building up or like shampoos or hairsprays sometimes like start damaging my hair and those types of things you can't necessarily tell after just like a day or two of use or a week of use or um, even a month of use and then sometimes you have products like mascaras or liquid eyeliner that after you open them the formula kind of changes once air hits them so I like I said find empties videos just really helpful because you know that person has used the entire product and can tell you honestly what they're experience with it was and whether or not they liked it and will repurchase it or liked it and maybe just wants to try something different or just hated it all together. So I have a smorgasbord. Did I pronounce that right? Smorgasbord? A plethora? Let's use that word. I have a plethora of things to show you guys um, from like hair to skin to fragrance to even a household. So uh, if you like videos like this, as always, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I don't know whether or not you guys like videos unless you tell me by you know liking it or commenting below and you know ultimately I want you guys to enjoy watching my videos so feedback is always great. So the first empty of mine is actually not super duper like all the way empty but it's empty to the point where I can't use it anymore and it's this Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candle. I know a lot of people love these candles like it's not like this is a new thing but this scent oh my gosh. This is the coconut sandalwood and I'm kind of sad because I don't know if they sell this year round because I got it during the summer. I completely finished it and it smells so good like it's just very warm and almost like cologne like smelling and it's just like the perfect warm scent for like my front living room. I burnt through this probably in like three days just because I kept burning it the whole day. I don't know, I liked it. So that's an empty of mine and yes, I will be repurchasing. The next empties I have are shampoo. So I get sent a lot of shampoo. Like I, let's see, I think it's been maybe a year which sounds really appalling. I think I purchased my first like actual with my own money shampoo and conditioner in a year at Target last week and I bought some like something that I had a coupon for and I granted I've had short hair since February I think or January February so I haven't and I don't wash my hair every day so it's not like I've been going through shampoo and conditioner a ton but companies have liked to send me shampoo and conditioner and I really appreciate that just because it's something I always forget to buy at the store. Like I'm always that person in the shower who's like, dang it, I ran out. And like, it's not something that I remember to get, so I'm always out of it. So I have really appreciated having it kind of show up in my doorstep, but a few of these I have gone through and I'm gonna talk about them just cause I kind of forget sometimes to talk about the shampoos that you know I get. But the first one is by Desange, or Desange. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is the Salon Color Restore line. It's in the red bottle. I believe you can get this at Target. It's drug store it's definitely drugstore but this showed up on my doorstep and I gotta say guys I really really like the shampoo and conditioner I do not like the smell like let me just first off say the smell is very 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 strong and it is very mature and I'm, I don't want to offend people by saying this but if I had to like describe the smell of it, it smells like a perfume that my grandmother used to wear. And not saying that like my grandma had like bad taste in smells, but like it was just a very strong, mature, perfumey smell. And that's what these smell like. And I just, that just to me, I don't know, was a little bit of a turn off, but, but being the cheap skate that I am, I wanted to use them because I had them. Uh, and honestly, after about a week of using this, my hair had never felt 
like softer, smoother, like more just as like luxurious. Like it felt great. And I was using this when my hair was super blonde, like super bright blonde. So it was super over processed. And this was really, really good. So if you can get past the smell of these, I'm telling you, these are really, really nice. Like this is a very, very, very nice line of shampoo and conditioner. And I would definitely purchase this with my own money. Like I said, I just bought Pantene though because I had like a super discounted coupon on it for it. So I need to get through that first, but definitely like these. So there's a next empty. So thank you for whoever sent these to me because I really, I really did actually like these. Strivectin came out with the hair care line. You guys know I love Strivectin products. I use their skincare products. I love their concentrated eye wrinkle cream. Like I love Strivectin. Let's put that out there. Love Strivectin. Well, they sent me their shampoo and conditioner a few months ago and I finally got through them. Love the packaging. I think they look really modern, really cool. However, I do not like the shampoo and conditioner. Um, they smell wonderful. Like if I could have this smell with the Desange, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. If I could have this smell with this like um, formula in regards to like how it felt in my hair, Perfect shampoo and conditioner for you, but unfortunately can't do that. So this is supposed to be for damaged and thinning hair. It's the ultimate restore extreme shampoo and conditioner. Strivectin is a anti-aging type skincare company, so it makes sense that they would start working on hair stuff. I commend them for that. I think it's a great idea. However, this left my hair super dry. I don't know why, but it did. But my hair felt super dry and brittle even while it was still wet, which sounds weird. But you know how like when you, you, when you run your fingers through hair and it just feels dry, like coarse? That's how it felt when I was using this. And it didn't have like a super great lather either. I just, it, it was not very good. So I did use all of it though, cause like I said, girl's gonna use free stuff that's sent to her. But again, I just, these were duds for me, did not like them. So love the packaging, love the smell, just don't like what it did to my hair. The next empty I have is the Lemon Custard. This is the Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath by Philosophy. Philosophy is I believe sold at Sephora, so it's kind of on the more high-end type of product. I didn't really care, I mean, I don't know. It smelled really good. I mean, anything citrus or lemon in the shower is like A plus for me, but honestly, it didn't knock my socks off. Like it wasn't like, oh, my skin feels super soft because I used this body wash and I didn't really feel like the smell stayed on my skin necessarily. Like it smelled really good in the shower, but then after like I dried off and stuff, I couldn't really tell that I used a body wash like that had a fragrance. Also, it was really heavy in the hair. I would not really suggest using it in your hair. I didn't like it. My daughter used it in her hair and it left her hair super greasy. I'm not sure if that's me because her hair's so thick and she didn't rinse it all out, but I know for me, it felt really like heavy. Uh, so I, mm, yeah, bubble bath wise, it didn't really make a whole lot of bubbles either. So I would just say kind of maybe skip this. I'm definitely not, I think I got this from Sam. I'm not gonna purchase this. It just didn't knock my socks off. So yeah, but that's an empty. This is the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I've been using this for, I wanna say a, over a year now. I think last fall I discovered this from my friend Sam and I've been using it ever since. I love this cleanser. Not only is it really great at just like getting my deep pores clean, but it is so refreshing. Like I love washing my face with this after I've gone on a long run and I'm like sweaty and hot and my face just feels really just like gross. This makes me just feel super clean. It's like tingly, so that's nice if you like the tingly kind of like cold feeling on your face. I really, really like this stuff. It's gentle enough that it's not over drying. It doesn't do anything like ag aggressive to my face necessarily. I use this in the shower every morning with my Clarisonic. Like I just, I love this stuff and it smells so good. Like if you like the smell of like charcoal-y uh, cleansers, like which I do, like this is just really amazing. So you can buy this anywhere. It's like a drugstore and if you go online, you can find coupons. I need to repurchase this because I'm out, so yeah, love this. So the next empty I have is the Righteous Butter Body. This is by Soap and Glory. You guys know Soap and Glory is like one of my all-time favorite companies and like type of products to use. They are awesome. You can find them at Target and then I believe uh, some other drugstores like online, like drugstore, 
drugstore.com I think sells them too. They used to be sold in Sephora, but then they had their whole revamping where they made everything more affordable and more accessible, which I think is awesome. I stocked up on a ton of this stuff when Sephora was clearancing everything out, and so I had quite a bit of these in storage, but I ran out of them because I used them constantly, and then this one is actually the one that the company sent me for my birthday last year. This one I think lasted me for four months, which I think is pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's not a huge bottle, but it, I mean, it a little bit went a long way with it. It's my favorite lotion though. John uses it in the winter. It's gentle enough that I trust to use it on my kids as well and they love the smell of it. I just really like this stuff. I love the packaging and it just sits on my uh, dresser next to our TV and I just use it after I get out of the shower and stuff. So this one was the one that they sent me for my birthday and it's kind of ironic because I'm almost out of it or I am out of it and my birthday's in three weeks. So yeah, but they did actually send me a little tub, which I don't have out here, of their new uh, body butter. It's the one that comes in the tub. They infused it with like some, I think like it's like called diamond something or other, but they infuse it with like some shimmer or something in that makes your skin like glow and stuff. So I'm excited to try that. But yeah, so that's an empty and I will be definitely repurchasing this, especially because the colder months and more drying months are ahead of us. So yeah, definitely would suggest this though. Moving on to makeup empties, which I know is shocking for me because I usually don't like, it takes me forever to finish products. I have, as you guys know, taken on more of a minimalistic, uh, waste not, want not type of way of living. I love to splurge still, I love to buy stuff, I love to shop, I like to collect still, don't get me wrong, but I have started taking a step back and looking at my lifestyle and my life and just the things around me uh, and just really, I don't know, I've, I've, I've kind of soul searched and realized that I need to start using what I have. I wanna start being more conscious of what I have and using what I have before I go out and buy more. Like I said though, I love to shop, I love to buy stuff, I love to you know get new things and I like to you know collect stuff, so I'm not saying that I'm not gonna shop anymore, but I have made a point to just like consciously make efforts to use up an entire product. So I have actually been emptying products, which I think is pretty cool. So the first thing that I have an empty for is my Scandinavia. This is the makeup finishing spray. This is the bridal version. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm really sad that it's empty. Um, I'm not, I haven't repurchased another one yet just because I'm trying to get through my Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm trying to get through my Max Fix Plus uh, setting spray. I used to have like five setting sprays and they would just sit there and I'm like why do I own so many setting sprays like I just need to like get rid of all this so I've been like going through bottle after bottle after bottle so now I only have uh, my Max Fix Plus I need to go through and then like a tiny bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter spray before I'm allowing myself to repurchase another one so this one though I absolutely love that's why this one's super empty and like the first one that I got through I bought this when I was in LA last year maybe I think that's when I bought it, but I absolutely love it. It just keeps your makeup in place. Like not only does it keep it in place, but like I would wash my face at night and like, you know, splash the water on my face and the like droplets would just like go down my face and my makeup would still be fully in place. Like it wouldn't be until I started rubbing my face that the makeup would actually start like coming off. So I would highly suggest this for anyone looking for a really good setting spray. I love the bridal version, it's just amazing. Scandinavia is the company that makes the Urban Decay setting sprays as well though, so those are very similar. This was $39 for this size bottle at a uh, full price, but I did get a discount on this. Did I get this at IMATS last year? Or maybe Nigel's, I don't know, but I did get it at a discount. Um, but this stuff is absolutely amazing, so it's an empty, and when I get through the other setting sprays I have, I will definitely be repurchasing this. Now this shouldn't surprise any of you, I have finally finished my Bare Minerals uh, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is in the color 07 Tan. I repurchased this because it's like completely out. Like I, I squished and squeezed like as much out of here as I could because this is just like my go-to foundation. Uh, this is not a super like traditional foundation. It's more of like a BB and CC cream, but like in between that and like a foundation itself. Like I love this stuff. It's super hydrating. It's not full coverage, but you can definitely build it up to being like a light to medium coverage. It's just perfect. Like it's exactly what I want. I wanted something that was liquid and I wanted something that still looked natural and let my natural face come out if, or my natural skin come out. And I just love it. It just, it's perfect. I can wear it when I'm not necessarily doing my face super high up, but then I can also wear it when I do wanna put a lot of makeup on and I think it looks pretty nice. 
Um, it's just one of my favorite products. Bare Minerals has just been my go-to like makeup company since I was in high school. You guys know I've been using their products since I was 16. And I was part of that group that first discovered Bare Minerals when they were still advertising the swirl and tap. Do you guys remember that? Like their first like comp complexion sets that you could only buy off of the TV. I begged my mom for a set and she when she got me that set it was like oh my gosh the color warmth that little bronzer thing oh it changed my life like those products changed my life so I just love that Bare Minerals is still around and that it's evolving into everything that it is like I love their lip products and I love their new like liquids you know products like I just I don't know so I'm get, I don't know why I'm getting so nostalgic right now I just love Bare Minerals no uh, but yeah so I did purchase another one of these and I did use it today I, I just opened a fresh bottle which always feels so good uh, but I ordered some off of Sephora's website and I just really love it. it a little bit goes a long way I put it on with my beauty blender and it just feels really light like on and I just it's a really it's really nice so if you're looking for something for like light to medium coverage I would highly suggest this stuff like it's good and it's super affordable like it's I think it's only $29 which I know sounds kind of expensive but I mean it lasts a long time and for a foundation I think that's a pretty good deal the next empty of mine is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is like super hella dirty. Like that is gross. Uh, this is in the color NW20. I did replace this when I was out visiting Sam in August or was that July? I did replace this. I purchased another one and unfortunately I got it in NC20. I got home and I'm like that's not my color. I accidentally purchased it in NC20, which honestly actually worked out being okay because I was able to use that color on my two friends that I did their makeup for. So, you know, I have that now for if I have a friend that wants me to do their makeup, you know, this color matches that a lot of them actually. I have a lot of white friends that have the same skin tone. But it ended up working out okay, so I am getting use out of that bottle, but I told Sam what happened and she actually gave me a bottle that she had. So I do have another bottle of this. I did use it today. I use it every day. Like anytime that I look more bright here, it's because I'm using this concealer underneath my eye. I like it because it stays in place. I also doesn't like it also doesn't sink into my pores. It doesn't look cakey. It's very thin. It's very, not watery, but it just feels very fluid. Like, like, I mean, it's just, it's really nice. It's a lot of coverage, but not a lot of weight. And I just, it's, it's a good concealer. So I do use this on my under eye. I use it down on my nose, sometimes on my chin and sometimes on my forehead to kind of brighten those areas up. But yes, good stuff. This one shouldn't come as a surprise to you guys. This is a Kat Von D tattoo liner. I've gone through like, tons of these in my lifetime of using it. I want to say I go through one of these like every three months and I've been using them for the last two years. It's just like my go-to eyeliner. A lot of you guys ask how I do my wing liner. It's always with this. I used to use the Stila Stay All Day, but the felt tip just kept giving out on me. I do not, I'm not a huge fan of felt tips. They just kept breaking apart. This is a really nice sharp brush tip, which is really, really just like easy to use, it looks really nice, and the liquid always comes out even every single time unless you're like at the end of the eyeliner. I think it's affordable in regards to like liquid eyeliners at Sephora. Um, it's not like overly priced, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, I really, really love this stuff. It's changed my winged eyeliner game and I did repurchase it. I have like one as a backup and one that I'm using now, so love this stuff. Last but not least, which there's kind of like a little bit left at the bottom as you can see, this is an almost empty Burberry body uh, perfume in tender. I love this stuff guys. I have repurchased it in the bigger version. John likes to call this the glass <laughs> because it's very phallic shaped. Like look at that. Come on now. Who designed this? In the smaller shape, it's not very offensive. Like you're like, oh, that's really sleek. That's really nice. That's really pretty and elegant. But then you get it in this and you're like, so I really, really like this stuff. It smells so good. I've talked about it in favorites videos before. I'm wearing it right now. It's a great summer and spring smell. I wear it year round, of course, but in regards to like what season I would say it best fits in, those would be the season. It's very clean, it's very light, it's very, I don't know, it just smells really good. It just, it's just a very light, clean scent. So if you're one of those people who likes smelling really like clean and just feminine and girly and just like, I don't know, this is it. it. Sounds silly, but like when I wear, you know, my athletic wear, like yoga pants and like a cute sports top is just like my like 
like going to the grocery store or around the house outfit or when I meet some girlfriends. Like if I'm not necessarily going to work out, but I have workout gear on, I wear this just because it, it it's like not like, oh, I'm trying to get fancy, but it's like, oh, I smell really good. Does that make sense? So yeah, this is like the perfect smell. Also when I do go like in workout and stuff or like if I'm going somewhere to work out with a friend, I don't know, I'll spritz this on me just to kind of keep me smelling like good while I'm doing stuff. So definitely good, I did replace it. I wanted to show you this just because this huge bottle right here, I found at TJ Maxx for $28.99, I think. And then this one right here, I think I purchased for like $50 from Sephora. So definitely check out your local TJ Maxx because they always have perfumes for so much cheaper. Um, like I said, this is like twice the size and it costs like half the price of the small one at TJ Maxx. So yeah, so go pick up your uh, glass there. So there you have it. There are my empties for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know as well just so like I know what kind of videos you like guys like watching. If you've tried some of these products and you like them yourself, let me know that. And if you go out and try them, again, let me know because I love like knowing what you guys like and dislike and kind of like things like that. Like, 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 like. Why do I keep saying like? I don't know, because I want you to like this video maybe. Uh, but so yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you guys all in my next vlog. Bye.